Hello, hello, hello. Chantal here from M Squared. In today's video, we are going to talk about some uh, supplements and activities that can help keep you thriving through the season to beat the winter blahs. So it is February, it is winter blahs season, and uh, this really tends to be the time of year when winter starts to feel a little too long, even for people like me who love winter. Uh, so I'm gonna cover what I consider to be the kind of like base level foundational supplements that I think everyone needs to help keep their spirits up and keep their energy levels up this this time of year. Um, I'm also going to talk about some sleep and stress management tips and I'll talk about some essential oils that can help make you feel more cheerful as well as some different ways to incorporate them into your everyday life. Um, so one of the most important things to keep our spirits up in the winter time is to keep our activity levels up. So yes, I'm talking about exercise, but I'm also talking about other activities too. Um, we need to have things to look forward to. So yes, it's so important to keep moving and to try to get outside as much as we can when the weather allows. Uh, whenever the sun comes out, make sure you get out there even if it's just for a short while. Um, but one of the simplest tips that I give to people who struggle with mood and energy levels in the winter is to put things on the calendar to look forward to, plan a getaway, buy a ticket to a local event, plan some social time with friends and family in advance and try to maybe change it up by doing something that you might not normally do. Uh, like for me, I'm doing a reading challenge with a group of friends and uh, we've been able to turn a fairly solitary solo hobby into a social one and it's been a really like nice way to brighten up this, this time of year with things to do and talk about. Um, of course, exercise is a crucial part of keeping our uh, mood and stress levels in check. Uh, it's crucial for stress management, for people dealing with anxiety. It helps with good sleep, good mood, and uh, the best way to stay active is to plan ahead because when it's cold outside and there are less daylight hours to play with, it becomes more and more challenging to stay motivated. So, you know, the gym and the yoga studio are great options when the weather is poor. Uh, for me, I started signing up for a couple of classes, like spin class as a way to get exercise and also uh, be a little social, be around other people. Um, I know for me and probably most people, motivation is usually the biggest challenge this time of year. So I find that if I sign up and pay for something in advance or I have a buddy that I go with, it helps me to stick with it because I feel committed to, to doing doing those activities. So um, if you aren't much of a gym person like me, there are tons of great options to do um, thing, activities with friends or you know yoga and exercise classes on Zoom and YouTube videos and things like that. So if you have the self-discipline to do those activities at home, that's great. If not, having a, a buddy or somebody to keep you, um, keep you committed to doing those activities is a, a really nice way to help stay active. Another great tip for remaining active through the winter season is to use your daylight hours. So the earlier in the day you can schedule in an activity, the more likely it is that you will actually do it. So our hormones for sleep and wake cycles are really dependent on natural light. So when daylight wanes, our bodies begin to create melatonin to prepare our bodies for sleep. So it's naturally more challenging to be active in the evening and the early, early mornings during the lower light of winter. Um, so use that knowledge to your benefit and book things for when you know you're going to have uh, more energy. So it's natural for you to sleep longer hours in the wintertime as well. So just embrace that. It's a great time to work on your sleep hygiene and use herbs and supplements to help encourage healthy sleep hormones and relaxation, which I'll talk more about in a moment. If you're doing outdoor activities, dress in layers. The more prepared you are to spend time outside, the more comfortable you'll be and the more likely you will be to remain outdoors and stay active. There is no such thing as bad weather, only bad gear. So make sure you're giving yourself all the tools you need to stay active comfortably throughout these cold months and keep the winter blues and blahs at bay. So increased stress and anxiety and depression through the winter is no coincidence. So the fact that we feel this way more in the wintertime is not a surprise, lower levels of vitamin D are directly linked to your stress response, uh, so anxiety. It's also directly linked to your immune system and mood balance, and we just don't get very much vitamin D in the wintertime, especially here in Canada. 
So your stress response is your body's ability to manage stress. And when we are in a state of good physical and mental health, we are much more resilient to stress. When we're not in a good state, even the simplest things can become overwhelming. So vitamin D supplementation is one of the easiest, most obvious things that you can do to support your stress response and mood. Plus, plus it's crucial for healthy immunity and we're coming right back into cold and flu season again here now. So I know vitamin D supplementation is so obvious, but it bears repeating over and over and over again, especially for us as Canadians, we are, where we are just less likely to generate enough of our own vitamin D because we don't get the correct sun exposure. So my go-to is the liquid vitamin D drops from Landart. Um, I kept this one in the box so you can see what it would look like if you were looking for it at a store. So uh, the liquid vitamin D drops from Landart are amazing. They are certified organic. Uh, one drop, depending on the one you get, is equal to either 1000 IU, 2500, which is this red one here, this is the one I like, um, or the kids one, which is the orange one, which is 400 I use. So I personally like extra strength, 2500 is great. I take two drops a day in the winter time and one the rest of the time. Um, you can take it straight. If you're doing the 1000 IU, I do probably three, four drops a day. And then this one is great for kids. One drop of 400 IU is fine. If you've got uh, older kids or teenagers, they can absolutely use the adult dose instead. So this one is perfect for younger children. So vitamin D drops is the easiest, cheapest tool for keeping well physically and mentally through the winter. One of these little bottles has 490 servings in it. That is a lot of servings, so one little bottle can certainly be shared amongst a family. It is, uh, it's, it's a no-brainer. It's cheap and easy, and it's going to have the greatest impact on your mental and physical health in the wintertime. So another one is a good quality fish oil that contains vitamin D. This is an excellent winter wellness tool. If you are more on the active side or you're dealing with pain and inflammation or maybe concerns around your uh, cardiovascular health, a high potency EPA fish oil like this from, one from Aqua Omega is what you should be looking for. So if your mood is a bigger concern or perhaps you are pregnant or wanting to be pregnant, uh, maybe you're breastfeeding or you are a senior looking for um, a, a supplement that is good for your brain, uh, the high DHA fish oil, which is looks like this but purple instead of blue, is the better option for you. So this one, the high EPA, is good for joints and inflammation, and the DHA is good for your mood and your brain. Plus, you get the added benefit of vitamin D in any of these fish oil products. So I love this one, the um, the Aqua Omega High EPA fish oil. It is a five to one ratio of EPA to DHA. So it majorly reduces inflammation, which is the basis of all disease. And it still has a great amount of DHA. There's still 670 milligrams per serving in here with a total of over four grams of omega-3 um, and a thousand IU of vitamin D. So it really packs a big punch. I love it. This one's made um, entirely from anchovy oil, which is a plentiful fish with healthier stock levels that are very closely managed for sustainability, unlike a lot of other fish that are used for omega-3 products. The high DHA one, so the one with the purple on the label, provides four and a half grams of total omega-3. Uh, 3,380 milligrams of that is DHA. That is so high, it's awesome. And 670 milligrams of that is EPA. So this is a potent dose of DHA. It's the highest dose you'll find on shelves at your favorite health food store. And if you're already taking a vitamin D supplement, you can still take a fish oil with vitamin D at the same time. Just a just your vitamin D dose to make room for that 1000 IU that is in here. So for example, if you wanted to take 3000 IU of vitamin D a day, which is a nice dose in the winter time, you would take your two drops of D if it's 1000 IU and one dose of fish oil. So easy peasy. Another important supplement to consider to help keep you feeling great through the winter is a really good quality B complex. So I'm a fan of liquid B complexes because the absorption is quicker and more thorough. And the thing with B vitamins is that they're water soluble and they break down really, really fast in the body. So often much faster than our body can actually absorb them. So the beauty of a liquid is that it absorbs into the tissues of your whole digestive tract way quicker. 
Uh, so much more thorough. Land Art from Quebec is my favorite. They make the best liquid vitamins and supplements. These are created by a naturopathic doctor, a nutritionist, and a chemist. My favorite product from them is this one here. This is the B Complex Zen. This is a stress B formula, so it's sugar-free, it's gluten-free, and it's vegan. And not only does it have all of your B vitamins, it contains herbal extracts of chamomile, hops, and moringa to help deal with stress and sleep and adre adrenal function, as well as blood sugar management, which largely governs your energy levels. Um, if lethargy is more of a problem than, than uh, anxiety, then you should use the B-complex energy formula, which is this one here. Um, so it's the same great B-complex, but they've added Siberian ginseng for adrenal health and guarana herb uh, for balanced energy. Reishi is another great functional mushroom that is perfect for this time of year. So this is an adaptogenic mushroom. It's called the king of mushrooms. It's good for all body systems and it provides immune support as well as adrenal support for mood, energy, sleep, and stress. Of all the functional mushrooms out there, Reishi covers the most bases health-wise. This is Optimi. It's out of Vancouver. This is a 500 milligram per dose uh, reishi capsules. So really, really nice and easy and cost-effective way to incorporate reishi into your health regimen. So touching back on sleep for a moment, um, I've talked about sleep a lot in previous videos, but I want to talk about melatonin. Uh, melatonin is the hormone that regulates your body's sleep cycle, and uh, contrary to popular belief, it's not a sedative. It actually only works to address sleep troubles if you're deficient in it. So if your body is low in melatonin or not creating melatonin at the right time, um, when you take it, it typically works pretty fast to help you fall asleep because that's the hormone that makes you fall asleep. If you don't fall asleep quickly or at all uh, when you use melatonin, it's really probably not the supplement for you. So it's an easy kind of test to see if it is the um, if it's going to be effective for you if it's more likely that it's stress that's keeping you awake that's where herbs might be a better option for you but if you use melatonin and you like melatonin I definitely recommend using a liquid one because it's really easy to adjust your dose to suit your needs so often with melatonin less is more so I always suggest starting at three milligrams and just seeing how it goes. You can definitely um, take more if you need it, but often that smaller dose is going to be enough. You can definitely use both melatonin and herbs together if stress and a poor sleep cycle is what's keeping you up. Um, Land Art has three really great options for liquid melatonin. They have their classic uh, liquid, which is a three milligram per dose. They have a high potency 10 milligram liquid. Um, I also love that higher dose one for people that are struggling with chronic fatigue syndrome or uh, fatigue because of fibromyalgia. Plus, there's some really interesting studies on melatonin and MS. So if you are a person with MS, you could inquire with your uh, health professional about that. Uh, the latest product that I am really excited about from Landart is called Melatozen, and it is awesome. So this is a liquid melatonin combined with L-theanine. So L-theanine is an amino acid that's usually sourced from green tea leaves. It works to calm the mind. So it is your mental chatter mute button, which is what a lot of us need when we're having a hard time sleeping. So the combination of melatonin um, and L-theanine is incredible for sleep because the melatonin readies your body for sleep and the L-theanine quiets the mind. So this product is getting rave reviews from our staff here at M2. People are loving it. And uh, it's three milligrams of melatonin. If you take the recommended dose, you could half that or you could increase it as needed. So let's finish things off with the best essential oils to beat the winter blahs. So diffusing oils and blends that contain citrus and spicy herbs are great for boosting your mood and they help to clear the air of mold and bacteria as well. So it's kind of a win-win. Um, when I'm looking for an oil for boosting my mood and energy level in the winter, I always gravitate towards fruit oils because they're summery and they're uplifting. So grapefruit, lemon, sweet orange, and lime are all excellent mood boosters. I'm really partial to grapefruit on its own for this purpose, but if I'm making a blend, sweet orange is my go-to because it's the most versatile oil. Um, it's complementary to pretty much every other scent. It pairs well with floral scents like jasmine and lavender, as well as spicy scents like clove and ginger. It's great with vanilla. It goes with 
pretty much everything. So if you love essential oils and you love blending essential oils, Sweet Orange sh should be a big part of your collection, in my opinion. You should buy the big bottle uh, because it just goes with everything and it just adds that little extra like boost of energy to, to a formula. I really like to use these citrusy scents throughout the day because I find not only do they boost energy levels, but they kind of give me some more mental clarity and, and focus. Um, if you don't want to make your own blends, Divine Essence has one called Citrus Supreme um, in their category of blends. It is great. It is a blend of grapefruit, key lime, and lemon essential oils. It's really bright. It's really um, uplifting and, and very energizing. In the evening, I like to move toward more floral and herbaceous oils for kind of that grounding and relaxation. So I love lavender and jasmine and neroli, which is orange blossom. I love sandalwood, bergamot, ylang ylang, and clary sage. They're all great options, um, either independent or blended together. Um, as a single oil, lemongrass is my all-time favorite. So I am never too far away from my bottle of lemongrass oil, to be honest. So it's great for grounding and relaxation, um, but personally, it's one that I don't like to blend with other oils. That's just my personal preference, but I find uh, lemongrass to be such a complex fragrance on its own with that kind of woody base and citrusy top note that I, I prefer it just by itself. So all of these oils can be diffused, they can be inhaled, they can be mixed into carrier oils for topical application, um, things you can rub on your wrist, you can put here, you can you know put it anywhere. You could mix your daytime blend into a spritzer with witch hazel or some other base for an energizing mist that you could keep in your purse at work or by your computer. And uh, you can mix your nighttime blend into a nice carrier oil like sweet almond for relaxing beauty oil for your face or your body before bedtime. Um, Divine Essence also has these great air purifying sprays. The ones that I like this time of year, uh, the Energy Boost, which is a um, kind of like an alpine inspired tree blend or the um, anti-fatigue one. So this one is designed specifically for the nervous system and it's, it's, um, it's very kind of citrusy and uplifting. So these are a really kind of handy way to, uh, to use aromatherapy throughout the day to help beat those winter blahs. So I choose Divine Essence all the time because they are Canadian, they're certified organic, they're NPN certified by Health Canada and they are the highest quality. Um, that said, I'd love to hear what your favorite oils are. Be sure to comment. Uh, I'd love to hear what you do to kind of keep those blues at bay this time of year. So thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.